I have these four nice chairs that my wife seems to collect in the house. And all of a sudden she says, put them in the attic. So today I'm going to build a pulley system. So as I'm getting down the Christmas decorations, I said, you know, I want to put these in the attic, but I got one of those disappearing stairways that folds down from the attic. And it's not that they're that heavy, but they're that bulky and clumsy to be able to have one person hold it and walk up the ladder with it. So I'm gonna build a pulley system where I can pull the chair up to the attic landing and then climb up the stairs without anything in my hands to position it in the attic for storage. So let's get started. So while this is my workbench, right above me is my disappearing stairway. It goes, gives me the entrance into the attic. So this is what we're gonna do, is build a pulley system directly above this so we can pull the chairs or boxes or anything else up or down from the attic. Okay, as we come into the attic and we look straight up, we have the rafters. So I'm gonna build a support beam spanning those two with a pulley system working right off that. Okay, here's what we bought for our pulley system. I have one pulley here that we're going to be our traveling pulley, and this will be uh, suspended, and we'll have this uh, carabiner on it and hook to our weight of whatever we're lifting up. This other pulley will be uh, fixed to the top uh, next to the rafters of the roof, and we'll have a two pulley system to uh, pull up our items. Then I bought some uh, 7 16 sash or cording, and this is just some cardin, uh, some cloth rope, and it's a little easier on the hands, some of the nylon stuff. So the first step here to find out exactly where I want to hang my cross rafter, I put a weight on a string that goes right up in the attic, so I can see exactly where I want that to be. And so I come straight up from that and that way I put it, my board between the two rafters. So what I've done over here is measure about six inches from the end so I know that this is where my first pulley will be and I've gone ahead and bolted it on the board. So now I have to go up in the attic and screw it between the rafters at each end. So what I have is a two pulley system. I'm gonna call this the traveling pulley because it stays next to your load that you're lifting. And so one end of this rope goes up through the other pulley and down, and this is the other rope. And the other end goes to the board of which the other pulley is affixed to and it's tied off up there. So when I pull this, it's looped over the other pulley, down to this one, back up to the tile. So this should be real easy to be able to move stuff to the attic. Okay, here we go with chair number two. Last time this thing got a little twisted, so we'll see if we can't keep it a little straighter this time. All we have to do is kind of keep our chair from hitting our ladder as it goes up pull it out since we can pass that. Then once we get the chair past the ladder, then we know we can lower the ladder back down. I created a permanent tie-off with this hook, so once you pull the load up, you can have it tied off and keep it there. So in my pulley system attic arrangement, the 
load is lifted straight up from the area where the ladder is. So the ladder has to be folded so the load can be lifted straight up. Then the ladder is unfolded so you can go up the stairs to take the load off the pulley system. And then you move it about in that fashion. So hey, if you learned something about pulley systems, give us a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed our videos, be sure and come back real soon.